Returning to my Coin Lady channel, I am pleased to see you again. Ripple has stated that the main goal of RL, USD, is to serve as a replacement for XRP through on-demand liquidity. I get that it seems scary and horrible at first, but trust me, it's really not that bad. There are valid reasons for this, but I'd like to address it and add some more comments because it's coming from a high-ranking official at Ripple, specifically, Monica Long, who is the president of the company. Here we have the headline, RL and USD unveil XRP ledger ambitions, Ripple president discusses SEC complaint. Also, this story claims that Grayscale has revealed a list of the 20 most promising cryptocurrencies, yet they omit XRP from that list. Just a moment. Just after restoring the XRP confidence, Grayscale ignored XRP. Exactly what is the source of Grayscale? Ripple's president discusses SEC, lawsuits, RL, USD, and plans to introduce the XRP ledger. A lot of topics were covered by Ripple president Monica, including the company's victory in the US SEC v Ripple Labs litigation, Ripple, with the ticker symbol RL, USD, the debut of the stablecoin, a plan for the XRP ledger, and more. As the protracted litigation finally concludes and the court makes it clear that XRP is not a security, she discusses the company's future intentions in an interview. An SEC case against Ripple Labs has concluded, with the court ruling, that XRP is not a securities. For a long time, Monica has maintained that this win is monumental for the whole cryptocurrency sector since it establishes a precedent and clarifies regulations. You may remember that the company looked overseas for growth in August or September of 2020, months before the SEC sued, because CEO Brad Garland had previously stated that the setback, strict regulatory outlook, and intense scrutiny caused the firm to do so. If you were there, you might remember that certain executives at Ripple were really unhappy with the SEC and even considered leaving the nation. Regulators have not provided enough clarity. All they're doing is stifling creativity in America. They say all that, and then months later they're sued, and we realize, yeah, that's why. But I must admit, they have a point. There is also expansion. Diverse forms of expansion are taking place outside. But you know, innovation is bound to return to the US in full force as time goes on and the clueless players and bureaucrats at the SEC and elsewhere in the government are replaced by pro-crypto supporters. Well, the peace remains. According to him, the company's growth has shifted away from the US and toward Asia, where it is currently experiencing 40% of its activities. It has been suggested by former US SEC lawyers Mark Fagel and James Farrell, with whom I had a conversation, that the agency is currently considering whether or not to appeal the decision in this case. Although I am aware that it is not in the SEC's best interest, they routinely engage in behavior that is counter to their interests, thus I will not even attempt to forecast whether an appeal will be filed. You have no idea. I am of the distinct belief that XRP will be unaffected by any appeal, though I cannot say for sure. The market could get scared, that much is clear. A slight decline in price is possible. As I've stated in numerous videos with extensive detail, XRP has legal clarity, therefore it really doesn't matter. Both the short and long-term sustainability of XRP are unaffected, as are transactions on the secondary market. If the appeal to have Ripple sell XRP programmatically is successful, then it will have an effect. However, if we were to blindly transact on Coinbase or any other exchange we wanted, that wouldn't be the point. That is not even in the court's jurisdiction. That cannot be appealed by the SEC. No court has heard it. Peace remains in this place, however. While waiting for approval from US regulators, Ripple's president announced that the RLUSD stablecoin will emerge this year. It does, of course. Well, guess what? It seems like they're going to be taking their time with this, as if it won't matter. Going over the article, I'll just say that, like, it's not strange that this coin isn't launched in the US first, and it's backed by the dollar. Indeed, the US currency is utterly ridiculous in this regard. That being said, it is what it is. Oh my god. How is this the actual world? Hey, dude. 
In any event, she clarified one of the primary applications of RL, USD. Declared Settlements It should be possible for Coindesk developers to use Ripple USD for transactions while using the XRP ledger. It has long been obvious that XRP's market share in payments will be unaffected by the stable coins. At its back end, the payment service already leverages stable currencies and XRP for liquidity. According to her, stable currencies and XRP are best suited for distinct types of transactions and payments. Decentralized XRPL exchanges, for instance, will make excellent use of Ripple USD, while XRP will maintain its role in dealing with low-cap, long-tail crypto assets. Yeah, I get that, and it's totally accurate. However, it was discovered some time ago that Ripple has been utilizing stable coins in the on-demand liquidity corridors that reach the US. Judge Torres's surprising decision on the institutional side has kept that going, which surprised a lot of people, myself included. Most of us in the Extrapol community were taken aback by that, to be honest. We achieved our primary goal of establishing a clear legal framework for XRP secondary market transactions, which means that users may buy and sell the cryptocurrency with complete peace of mind. However, when it comes to institutional investors, not many are interested in Ripple, and those that are, are simply using Tether and Usts instead. So, they're releasing their own coin today, and it will naturally take its place. They're planning to swap it out for it, because of how stable it is. Surely they would. Am I correct? Reason being, it's an additional piece of evidence that their stable coin launch on the XRP ledger will be successful in the long run. This is fantastic news for XRP as well, for a number of reasons. First, and foremost, XRP will remain a go-to solution for on-demand liquidity, no matter what. There we are at the beginning. It was known to us long ago. According to Brad Garlinghouse, if there is ever a situation where XRP does not have enough liquidity, or if there are regulatory concerns, they would be willing to consider using other coins. XRP has only been used for on-demand liquidity so far. That was long ago said by him. This is therefore not unexpected. They're introducing a coin that uses XRP, so at least they're being realistic about what they claimed publicly they would be doing. If we're talking about its issuance on the XRP ledger, then it's also being issued on Ethan and other blockchains. However, in order for the XRP ledger to exist and process transactions, XRP is literally needed. Therefore, it's undeniably an advantage in the end. This is all excellent, then. This is hardly shocking. The viewer's presence here is greatly appreciated. Bye for now, and please subscribe and like my channel.